The prince and princess got married and flew off on their honeymoon in a hot air balloon. The end. Yippee! <laughs> I love stories, especially when the bad guys go to prison. What's a hot air balloon? It's a large balloon with a basket underneath it. You get into it, fill the balloon with hot air, and it flies away like an airplane. Wow! That must be so cool! How do you know about I it? I read about it. That's why reading is so important, because you're always learning something. Then Papa must be very clever, because he's always reading. Uh-huh. That's why he's a professor. Hello, hello, everybody. Look what I brought for you. Balloons! <laughs> cool. Thanks, Papa. <laughs> 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 she thinks it's an ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that might happen. That's why I bought some extras. But this time, don't bite it. Are these hot air balloons? No, these are helium balloons. But they also float away like hot air balloons. Well, I've had a very long day, so I'm going to take a nap before dinner. <sighs> and I need to prepare for my lectures tomorrow. So, will you parents be okay? Don't worry, Papa. I'll take care of Tessa. We'll play with our balloons, won't we, Tessie? <laughs> Tessa, let me show you some tricks you can do with the balloon. I'm going to count to three and then we let go of the balloon. Ready? One, two, three! That was very good. Now, let's do something completely different. Okay, Tessa, box the balloon. Hello. <laughs> And again! Ouch! Wow, Tessa, you can really hit hard! Russell, come and play! Russell, are you there, mate? You want to come and play? <laughs> Hang on, Tessa. Let me just go see what Chuck and Lorenzo want. <laughs> Hey, Russell, we're going to go into the jungle to play hide and seek. Want to come along? I'd love to, but I'm looking after Tessa. Well, why don't you bring her along? She can be the base. Cool idea. <laughs> 98, 99, 100. Coming, ready or not. Oh, Russell, Russell and Lorenzo. <laughs> Where are you? <laughs> ah, gotcha. <laughs> One, two, three, blocky <laughs> Russell. Aw, well, well done. Now we have to go find Lorenzo. <laughs> oh no, the balloons are flying away. You're tall, Chuck, can you jump? They're already too high and too far away for us to jump up and catch them. Whoa, whoa, don't worry, Tessa, I'll get your balloons. Wait! Yeah. <laughs> 
Hooray Yippee! for Lorenzo! Well done, Lorenzo. <laughs> Thanks for catching the balloons! You see, helium balloons are filled with gas, and helium is lighter than air and always tries to get above the air. So when a balloon is filled with helium, it just floats higher and higher. So if it's gas, is it dangerous? Aye, you never breathe it in, it's very dangerous. So a hot air balloon's also full of helium? No, but that's a very good question, son. Hot air balloons are filled with hot air. Hot air rises, so they fill the balloons with hot air from a burner, and it just takes off. Wow, that's so cool! I can't wait to tell my friends and teachers at school tomorrow. And that's enough hot air from you, Papa. <laughs> <laughs> Dinner's ready! Bamboo stew, my favourite! Yippee! Mine too! I know what my boys like. <laughs> we love you, Mama, and we love you. We love you, Mama, and we love you. We love you, Mama, and we love you. Oh, Mama, we love you, and you and Stu, and you and Stu, and you and Stu. That'll be cool, man, but it'll have to be later on. I have some chores to do. Well, let's see. Otherwise, I'll see you at school tomorrow. Groovy, man. Adios, amigo. Look where you're going, buddy. I always do. Oh, ow! <laughs> As I said, look where you're going. Hello, Russell, darling. Did you have a good day at school? Oh, yes. I'll tell you about it just now. But I'm starving. I have to have a sandwich. Oh, no. I'm so sorry, darling. But we have no bread. And Tess is sleeping, so I haven't been able to get to the shop to buy groceries. I'll do it. What do I need to get? Oh, that's so kind of you, Russell. Ask Granny Croc for these things and get yourself one of her special sandwiches while you're there. Yippee! Thanks, Mama. You're the best Mama in the whole world. But what about the rest of the groceries? Tessa and I'll get them tomorrow morning while you're at school. OK, thanks, Mama. Bye! Bye! Chicka bow, chicka bow, chicka bow, wow, wow. Chicka bow, chicka bow, chicka bow, wow, wow. Chicka bow, chicka bow, chicka bow, chicka bow wow, wow. Wow, Russell, that was excellent. You've been practicing, I see. Thanks, Granny Croc. Yes. I practice the jumps every day. Well, that's very good because practice makes perfect. Uh-huh. So, what can I get you, Russell? A milkshake, a cool drink, or a snack? Tess is sleeping and Mama doesn't want to go shopping and leave her alone. So, she asked if you have some of these for her in the meantime. I'm sure I can help her. Oh, and I see you must get a sandwich too. Yes, please. Can it be a cheese and tomato sandwich with bamboo leaves on it instead of lettuce? Of course. Bamboo leaves are what you red pandas love best. Uh-huh. Good. <gasps> ah! Oh no! 
Hmm? <laughs> Russell, what on earth are you doing? <laughs> it's Janet. I looked up into the tree and just didn't expect to see her there, staring at me. Hmm? Hmm. I don't see her. Are you sure you're not imagining things? She was there, I promise. Maybe she was. She was probably wanting to snatch your food. I would give her some, but she always disappears as soon as she sees me seeing her. Hmm. She's just shy. But who knows, maybe one day you will become friends. But first, you need to get these groceries to your mama. Thanks, Granny Croc. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Doodle-doo. Oh, Mama, I'm home. Hello, Janet. Do you want to be my friend? Who are you talking to, darling? I'm talking to Janet. I don't see her. She is there. Somewhere. Oh, well, that's interesting. Anyway, thanks for getting the groceries. It's a pleasure, Mama. And thanks for letting me have a sandwich. Oh, Russell, are you there? Hey, Chuck, are you done with your chores? Sure thing, buddy. Wanna play some soccer now? Can I, Mama? Of course you can. Just remember to be home before six o'clock so you can still finish your homework before we have dinner. Ooh. Stop this! Ah. Stop! And remember, a story a day keeps the trouble away. Oh, Papa, our children are always good. But Russell, do be careful with Tessa. And you know where her bottle is if she needs it. Ha, 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 ha. I'm only joking, Mama. The meeting shouldn't take very long anyway. And remember, son, we're only a phone call away. Okay, then. Bye. 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 <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> hmm. Okay, Tessa, let's read the story. This is the story of the three billy goats gruff. Once upon a time, were three billy goats gruff. Humpna, Dumpna, and Humpna Gumpna. And they were brothers who lived on one side of the river. <laughs> one day, they decided to cross the bridge to get to the other side because the grass seemed so much greener and juicier there. Russell, oh Russell, is there anybody home? I'm here, Chuck. Come on up. Groovy, I'm on my way. Sorry, Tessa, you'll have to have a look at the book while I talk to Chuck. Hey, buddy, look what I invented. Tablets. Um, they've been around for a while. I know, but mine charges every time it goes into the sunlight. Cool! So the sun works like a battery? No, Tessa, you mustn't eat the book. I'll take that. This is so 
cool, Chuck. Want some snacks while I have a look? Groovy, man. I'm always hungry. Mmm, -hmm. these cream puffs are so yummy. I could eat them all day. Uh, my mama baked it. Hang on, the tablet stopped working. No problem. Let's go outside into the sunlight and see how quickly it charges up again. But I can't leave Tessa alone. It'll be quick, man. She's fast asleep anyway. Shh. This is so cool, Chuck. You're a genius. Look how fast it's charging. was open. Maybe it was a hurricane. Hey, sir. Are you okay? Ooh, this is spooky, man. <gasps> I don't think the snacks should stay on the floor. Maybe we should eat them before the germs get on them. Hello, darlings. We're home. Oh, no. It's my parents. They told me to take care of Tessa in the house. They're gonna kill me! This calls for some speedy action. Mmm! 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 I'm so glad you're all right. I suddenly had this feeling someone had come into the house and something had gone wrong. <laughs> but I said to her, Mama, you're panicking about nothing. Uh-huh. Papa said Russell is in charge and he's very responsible. Chuck was just showing me his new tablet that's uh -huh. powered by the sun. Hmm, that sounds interesting. Let me have a look. There is something I must tell you. It wasn't all fine. Oh? Tessa did chew her book a bit, but then I gave her her bottle and she went back to sleep. <laughs> oh well, it gives the book some character. Chicken. 